sorry guys, um, this review may have, um, you know, taken, taken very long, and, um, it's taken a while for you guys to wait, but finally here's a day, and I'm not gonna review this guy, 1954 Godzilla, already reviewed him, I already reviewed the 2004 Final Wars Godzilla, now, I credit both of these guys for being accurately depicted, accurately molded and sculpted, and the detail. Go check out those reviews on my channel if if you really want to know a bit more about them. Now, those guys are going out of the picture. Today I'm going to review... I wouldn't call it the crown jewel, but it is a crown jewel of my, um, of my collection. Feast your eyes on. That's right. The Mattel 1977 Shogun Warriors Godzilla figure. I mean, this was quite an up and um this is a privilege in my opinion. I mean, I never asked for this figure. This was from... I got this on my birthday. My dad got it from a, from a, a, a store that sells, like, vintage toys. And really, this was unexpected. I never asked for it. So, um... Both hands swivel around. And, of course, you may have noticed this little button, which is on, like, Godzilla's arm. But I'll get to that later. Now just look at the detailing on his skin. It's nice and rough, filled with lots of texture. Let's look at him from the side. And of course, he's got an actually very big, if not stumpy tail. Now, of course, some people may complain about the spines being inaccurate, not big. Because, if you look on the other figures, of course it's got an extra long tail, probably longer than the body itself. And lo three rows of very detailed, hard, sharp spines. This one just has simple knobs. Simple, like, little hills. And, of course, well... Actually, I have no problem with this, honestly. Or, not too many problems. I mean, this is an American figure, not a, an accurate Japanese figure. And of course, his neck is bolted in place. So, he cannot turn his head. Now, let's take a look at his face. Of course, he's got, like, red and yellow eyes. Sorry, there's a lot of shadow since he's got a big ridge. For some reason, his nostrils, it may be hard to see, his nostrils are painted in red. He's got yellow teeth, red gums or something. And of course, there's his little tongue slash flame action, which I will show you. Now, how it's activated. And yes, my dad actually managed to get one with a little lever on it. I don't play with it that much. Since it actually already looks like it's at the risk of breaking. If you look carefully, like, right around there, you see, like, white spots on it, which means it's sort of weakening. So, yeah, gently, if you have one that still has a knob, gently push it down. And if you do that, a tongue and or flame comes out. Let's see from the front view. Okay, now here, we've got like, turn it, you, you don't have to turn it that way, but this button activates a fist launching action, but let me just shoot at my book bag, it's a soft surface. Okay, just press it and, see that? Godzilla has officially lost his hand. Now, here's what his little stump looks like 
without it. Oh, of course, this did not come with its original box. It did not. Now, that's all I got to say about this. Good, overall, it is a good toy. Oh, and another thing I should note that he's got wheels on his feet. So you could, you could push him. Let me actually just show you the wheels. See that? Tiny little wheels. So you could push him along. So, um, let me get, give you guys a better look. So overall, this figure is pretty good. It's over a foot tall, just so you know. And you could, like, reload his fist. It's hard doing it while holding a camera. Now, on occasion, this thing actually fired by itself, especially when I first got it. But now, see that? Well, I'll just leave it be. I've had a bit of difficulty reloading the hand. So, and basically, just look at the size compared to, compared to those two guys. Now, of course, this version of Godzilla, this little um, depiction or design of him never appeared in any of the movies. That looks like a blend of the 1980s Godzilla with the... Um, 1974 Godzilla and with the color scheme and spikes, you know, tiny little spikes of the Hanna-Barbera Godzilla from 1978. Some of you may like that show. I don't, I'm not much of a fan of it. I don't watch it. Now, you could hopefully find some episodes on the internet. So, yeah. Next up, I'm going to review um, King Kong. God. Um, Voskilo 13 signing out, and, um, yeah, good birthday present. I love it.